When we arrived around the area, there was a police control. Then we passed by the entrance of Ephesus, which will be the next video. So remember to watch that one too. And then when we arrived at the area, there was a police control again and an entrance fee of 20 lira per person. There's another sign here making the note that the money we paid as an entrance fee when we first came actually goes to the Seljuk Metropolitan and donation for this house is very welcome to maintain it. I was very excited about having this big holy experience and there was a very nice security guide inside telling us that we were allowed to stay there for three minutes and there was actually only us in there because the Turkish couple just passed out. Until the lady of the Turkish couple went opposite of the direction because she wanted to buy a candle and then talked the entire three minutes that we actually had alone with the shrine. So very disturbing because not only was she talking, she was talking loud and she was breaking my experience. So the shrine is really beautiful. Ladies make a lot of noise. It's generally accepted that this is the house of Virgin Mary and it is also a Christian pilgrimage place. So a lot of pilgrims comes here to make a prayer at this shrine. But it's actually also important for Muslims because even though Muslims don't see Jesus as God's son, they still see him as a prophet and Miriam, as she's called in Turkish, is the mother of a prophet. We know that this place was inhabited in the 1st century AD and that it has been rebuilt in the 7th century AD. So this is not the original house, it's just what we believe is the original location. And in modern times it was refound when a blind German Roman Catholic nun saw it in a dream and this nun has never been to Ephesus or even to the area and was blind as I understand it but she saw it in a dream and she explained people what she saw so they put together a team to go uh, search research is this actually correct and they found this house so might be a blind German nun that is the reason why we have it today and that makes the story of the house even more unique The stories go that the Baptist Johannes took Virgin Mary here to Turkey, to Ephesus after Jesus was crucified. And that is also why we believe that she was here in Ephesus and that she lived the rest of her life here. But she has lived outside of the city because Ephesus is around 10 kilometers from here. And that is because at that time Christianity was still not really accepted and actually something that some people got killed for or got in a lot of troubles for talking about. So being the mother of Jesus has not been the most popular thing to be at that time. So for the holy water I actually brought our water bottles so we can fill them up. They close the water. I actually emptied our water bottles to fill it up with holy water but they closed them off which is probably a Kevrone thing which I do respect but that doesn't mean I'm not sad that I don't get to bring home a lot of holy water it is really really closed off <laughs> I've seen uh, photos and videos of this wall being full of paper like the crying wall in Israel as you can see now it's completely emptied out there's not a single note on the wall anymore so know that if you're coming up to 2021 there's actually signs saying please don't put your prayers that was our video about the virgin mary's house i really appreciated that we had the house all to ourselves except from the turkish lady who thought it was a great idea to talk really loudly while we were in there i'm of course sad that i didn't get any holy water and it was also a little weird to see this wall without no prayers in it but generally i would say that this is actually a place that's really worth visiting especially if you're already visiting ephesus which is our next point so remember to watch the next video